long rice, chicken, takenoko, onion, and various other vegetables are the ingredients in one of my grandparents' most famous dishes that they cook, chicken heka. Chicken heka is a meat and vegetable dish that their parents used to make growing up on the plantation. It's one of my family's favorite dishes to eat for dinner, and it's definitely a treat when grandma and grandpa make it. Today we're making chicken heka. Are you excited? Yes! Boil one package of long rice noodle. Soak five to six mushrooms in water until they become nice and soft. Then squeeze out the water. Cut out the stem of the mushroom and thinly slice the mushroom caps. And the onion as well. Rinse off or place the takinoko in water. Cut into thin strips. Carrots can either be cut into thin strips or thin coins. Grandma is reminding me to cut the carrots thin. Slice the konyaku into thin strips as well. Konyaku is a yam-based jelly which is high in fiber and grown in Asia. Slice the celery into diagonal thin strips. Cut the root of the green onion off. Slice into 1 inch cylinders. Cut the chicken into 3 quarters of an inch. Grandpa begins to fry the chicken. After browning the chicken, Grandpa adds about a third cup of sake and about two cups of shoyu. Since he's been making chicken heko for a long time, he hardly uses a measuring cup. Most of his measuring is doing many different taste tests. He adds in about a half cup of raw sugar. After completing many more taste tests, the rest of the vegetables are finally added in, except the long rice. Do you know what heka means? <laughs> That's Hawaiian, you know. No, it's mix up. sukiyaki. Mix up, I think. Grandpa mixes everything together and the vegetables simmer in the pot for about 10 more minutes. Finally, the noodles are added in to the yummy pot of chicken heka. Time to eat! Thank you for joining us. Heck of a good heck of.